Robert Walker, an American actor, was born on October 13, 1918, and quickly made a name for himself in Hollywood. He is best known for his chilling performance as Bruno Antony in the classic thriller, Strangers on a Train, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Walker's career began in the 1930s, but it was his role in See Here, Private Hargrove that gained him recognition and led to a contract with MGM. He went on to appear in numerous films, including The Clock, where he met his first wife, Jennifer Jones. Despite his success, Walker struggled with personal demons, including alcoholism, which affected his career and personal life. However, he continued to work in film and television, even appearing in the popular TV show The Twilight Zone. Walker's talent and dedication to his craft left an indelible mark on the film industry. His ability to portray complex and nuanced characters made him a standout in a sea of actors. Strangers on a Train remains a classic film, in part due to Walker's haunting performance. In the end, Robert Walker's legacy is one of talent, perseverance, and the ability to captivate audiences with his performances. His contributions to the film industry continue to resonate with moviegoers today. Robert Walker was a classic American actor, born on October 13, 1918. He began his film career as a child actor, and later gained fame for his roles in films like Strangers on a Train and The Sea Chase. Do you have a personal story of how Robert Walker has inspired or impacted your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. When was the first time you recognized Robert Walker in a film or television show? For many, it might have been his chilling performance in Strangers on a Train. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Was it watching one of his films for the first time, or perhaps something more? Keep watching this video to learn about some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Robert Walker's life and career. From his early days as a child actor to his tragic passing at the young age of 32, there's much to explore about this talented star. So, stay tuned. Born in 1918 in Salt Lake City, Robert Walker was introduced to acting at a young age by his parents, who were both vaudeville performers. The family frequently moved across the country, and by the time he was 12, Walker had already lived in 15 different cities. This nomadic upbringing exposed him to various forms of entertainment, and likely contributed to his versatile acting style. Walker's mother, a dancer and singer, encouraged his interest in performing. She enrolled him in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York when he was just 16 years old. It was there that he met his mentor, group theater co-founder Cheryl Crawford, who recognized his talent and became a significant influence in his career. Under Crawford's guidance, Walker honed his craft and appeared in several Broadway productions. His early exposure to the stage laid the foundation for his successful film career. In 1943, he made his film debut in See Here, Private Hargrove, which was followed by many notable roles in classic films such as Since You Went Away and The Clock. Walker's talent for portraying complex and nuanced characters can be traced back to his training in the theater and the influence of his mentor, Crawford. Her belief in his potential and her guidance helped shape his path in the entertainment industry, ultimately leading to his successful film career. Robert Walker, an American actor, was born on October 13, 1918 in Salt Lake City, Utah. His parents, Archie and Eleanor Walker, were both vaudeville performers. Due to their work, the family moved frequently during Walker's childhood, living in various cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York. This nomadic lifestyle exposed the young Walker to a variety of experiences and people, which would later influence his acting career. Walker's parents divorced when he was still a child, and he was raised primarily by his mother. She encouraged his interest in the arts, enrolling him in dance and drama classes. Walker's natural talent for acting became apparent at an early age, and he began performing in school plays and local theater productions. In 1936, Walker made his film debut in The Plainsman, starring Gary Cooper. However, it wasn't until 1943 that he gained widespread recognition for his role in Bataan, a war film directed by Tay Garnett. Walker's portrayal of a young soldier earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a rising star in Hollywood. Throughout the 1940s and 1950s, Walker continued to work in film, appearing in classics such as Since You Went Away, The Clock, and Strangers on a Train. His talent for portraying complex and nuanced characters made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Despite his success, Walker struggled with personal demons, including alcoholism and mental health issues. These struggles often made it difficult for him to maintain steady work in the industry. 
However, he continued to act in films and television shows until his untimely death in 1951 at the age of 32. Walker's legacy as an actor continues to this day, with his performances in classic films still resonating with audiences. His talent for portraying complex characters and his contributions to the film industry have left an indelible mark on Hollywood. As a young boy, Robert Walker's passion for acting was ignited. His mother, a vaudeville performer, would often take him to the theater where he marveled at the performers on stage. At the age of six, he made his acting debut in a school play, portraying a mischievous rabbit. This experience left a lasting impression on him, and he knew then that he wanted to become an actor. During his teenage years, Walker's family moved to New York City, providing him with ample opportunities to pursue his dream. He began taking acting classes and performing in local theater productions. His talent and dedication did not go unnoticed, and he soon landed his first film role in Eternally Yours at the age of 18. However, it was his role as Bruno Antony in the classic thriller Strangers on a train that truly solidified his status as a talented actor. Director Alfred Hitchcock recognized Walker's potential and cast him in the complex role of a charming yet sociopathic character. Walker's portrayal of Bruno Antony was both chilling and captivating, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Despite facing personal struggles throughout his career, including battles with alcoholism, Walker's passion for acting never wavered. He continued to work in film and television until his untimely death in 1951 at the age of 32. To this day, Robert Walker's contributions to the world of acting are still celebrated, and his performances continue to resonate with audiences. Robert Walker's portrayal of Bruno Antony in the classic film Strangers on a train is noteworthy for his subtle yet impactful depiction of homosexuality and seductiveness. Working closely with director Alfred Hitchcock, Walker employed a specific series of gestures and physical appearance to convey these aspects of his character, all while navigating censor objections. Originally, Walker was set to play the male lead in Meet Me in St. Louis, but the role ultimately went to Tom Drake. Despite Judy Garland's protests, the studio opted for Drake leaving Walker to move on to other projects. In Since You Went Away, Walker starred as Corporal Bill Smollett II, where he shared a romantic storyline with Jennifer Jones. Interestingly, in real life, the two actors were in the midst of a failing marriage and divorced shortly after filming. Jones later married David O. Selznick, the film's producer. Walker's ability to immerse himself in complex characters and relationships, both on and off screen, is a testament to his talent as an actor. His performances continue to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the world of classic cinema. Robert Walker, a talented actor, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born in 1918, he experienced financial struggles, which made it difficult for him to pursue his passion for acting. Despite these hardships, he remained determined to succeed in the industry. Walker's resilience was evident when he turned to creative solutions to overcome his financial obstacles. He took on various jobs, such as working as an usher in a movie theater, to support himself while pursuing his dream. This perseverance demonstrated his unwavering commitment to his craft. In addition to financial struggles, the actor faced skepticism from the industry. Many doubted his ability to make it as a leading man due to his lack of experience and connections. However, Walker refused to let this discourage him. Instead, he used it as motivation to work even harder and prove his doubters wrong. Walker's big break came when he was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a play. This opportunity allowed him to showcase his talent and eventually landed him a contract with a major film studio. Despite the initial industry skepticism, Walker's talent and determination shone through, and he became a successful actor. Throughout his career, Robert Walker faced numerous challenges, but his resilience and determination allowed him to overcome them. His story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that hard work and perseverance can lead to success, even in the face of adversity. Robert Walker, the actor known for his role in the film Strangers on a Train, was interred at Washington Heights Memorial Park in Ogden, Utah. In this Hitchcock classic, he played the character Bruno Antony. The role was played while Walker was borrowed from MGM for the production. In his final film, My Son John, Walker passed away before his death scene could be completed. The scene was ultimately finished using a stand-in and some unused footage from Strangers on a Train. Despite these challenges, both films remain as enduring classics in American cinema. In 1943, the acting world noticed a young talent in Robert Walker, 
when he starred in See Here, Private Hargrove. The film showcased his ability to convincingly portray a naive soldier, earning him praise from critics and peers alike. A turning point in the actor's career came with the 1945 Hitchcock thriller, Strangers on a Train. Walker's chilling performance as a charming psychopath left a lasting impression on audiences and established him as a serious dramatic actor. Hitchcock himself was quoted as saying, Walker's portrayal was crucial to the film's success. His character's unpredictability kept the audience on edge. The same year, Walker's performance in The Clock alongside Judy Garland was also highly praised. Garland was quoted as saying, Bobby was a dream to work with. His talent and dedication were truly inspiring. Despite personal struggles, Robert Walker's career had a resurgence in the late 1950s with his role in The Great Gatsby. His nuanced portrayal of the mysterious Jay Gatsby was widely recognized as one of his best performances. Critic Bosley, Crowther of the New York Times noted, Walker's Gatsby is a complex character, full of charm and sadness. He truly embodies the spirit of this American classic. In the end, Robert Walker's career was marked by his ability to take on diverse and challenging roles, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. In his final theatrical film, Strangers on a Train, Robert Walker delivered a chilling performance as Bruno Antony. Sadly, the actor's life was cut short just eight months after filming ended due to an allergic reaction to a drug used to treat his alcoholism. This movie held a special place in co-star Farley Granger's heart, who considered it one of his favorites and cherished his time working with Walker. Interestingly, Walker was delighted to learn that he was Alfred Hitchcock's sole choice for the role of Bruno Antony, which added to his enthusiasm for the project. This classic film remains a testament to Walker's talent and his enduring impact on the world of cinema. Renowned for his work in classic films like Strangers on a Train and The Sea of Grass, Robert Walker's artistic vision and process were deeply personal and introspective. The actor was known for his ability to delve into the complexities of his characters, often drawing from his own experiences and emotions to create authentic and compelling performances. Walker's approach to acting was rooted in his belief that an actor's job was to tell a story truthfully and honestly. He once said, the most important thing in acting is to be truthful. You have to believe in what you're doing and feel it or the audience won't either. This commitment to authenticity was evident in his work as he brought a raw vulnerability to his roles that resonated with audiences. One of the unique aspects of Walker's style was his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. Rather than relying on grand gestures or over-the-top expressions, he used small facial expressions and body language to communicate the inner workings of his characters. This approach made his performances feel authentic and relatable, as if the audience was watching a real person grappling with real emotions. Walker's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Growing up in a tumultuous household, he developed a deep understanding of human frailty and the complexities of the human psyche. This understanding informed his portrayal of characters struggling with their own demons, such as Bruno Anthony and Strangers on a Train. Despite his success, Walker's career was cut short due to personal struggles and his untimely death at the age of 32. However, his impact on the world of film remains significant, as his unique style and approach to acting continue to inspire and influence actors today. In the end, Robert Walker's artistic vision and process were deeply intertwined with his own experiences and emotions. Through his commitment to authenticity and subtlety, he created unforgettable performances that continue to resonate with audiences today. Robert Walker, known for his role as Corporal Bill Smollett II in the classic film Since You Went Away, endured challenging love scenes with his wife, Jennifer Jones, during filming. Their marriage was already in turmoil, making those scenes difficult for both actors. It is said that Jones would often run, sobbing, to her portable dressing room between takes. After his time on Since You Went Away, Walker's life took a dramatic turn in December 1948 when he made national headlines. He had fled from a psychiatric clinic in Topeka, Kansas, and caused significant damage to the local police station after being arrested for public drunkenness. In a positive turn of events, Robert Walker posthumously received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1709 Vine Saint on February 8, 1960, honoring his contributions to the film industry. Despite his personal struggles, his legacy in Hollywood remained significant. The challenges he faced and the talent he brought to his roles continue to be recognized and respected in the world of classic cinema. 
The story of this troubled, yet talented actor serves as a reminder of the complexities often hidden behind the glamour of Hollywood. Robert Walker, an actor who made his mark in Hollywood during the 1940s and 1950s, is best known for his chilling performance in the classic thriller Strangers on a Train. His ability to portray complex and troubled characters with depth and nuance had a significant impact on the industry. Walker's performances were often praised for their emotional intensity and vulnerability. According to film critic Leonard Maltin, Walker had a rare ability to convey a sense of inner turmoil and emotional fragility, making him a standout in a sea of leading men. In Strangers on a Train, Walker played the role of Bruno Antony, a charming yet sociopathic character who convinces a stranger to swap murders with him. The film, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, is considered a masterclass in suspense and psychological thriller techniques. Walker's performance in Strangers on a Train has had a lasting influence on the industry. As filmmaker and writer James Gray notes, Walker's portrayal of Bruno Antony in Strangers on a Train is a textbook example of how to create a truly unsettling and memorable villain. His ability to balance charm and menace was a game changer for the genre. In addition to his work in film, Walker also made significant contributions to television. He starred in several popular shows of the time, including The Loretta Young Show and General Electric Theater. His performances helped to elevate the medium and establish television as a legitimate form of entertainment. Walker's influence can still be seen in modern-day storytelling. His ability to bring complex and troubled characters to life has inspired countless actors and filmmakers to delve deeper into the human psyche and explore the darker aspects of the human experience. As film historian and author David Thompson notes, Walker's legacy is one of intensity, vulnerability, and a willingness to explore the depths of the human condition. His impact on the industry is still felt today, and his performances continue to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of artists. Robert Walker, known as the father of Robert Walker Jr. and Michael Walker, experienced a whirlwind romance with actress Jennifer Jones. They married on the one-year anniversary of the day they met, but their relationship was short-lived. By November 2, 1943, they had already separated, and Jones filed for divorce on April 21, 1945. During this time, Walker starred in the film One Touch of Venus alongside Iva Gardner. MGM loaned Gardner to Universal Studios for the production. A life-size statue of the goddess was sculpted by Joseph Nicolosi for the film, with the first version featuring full nudity. After the studio requested a more modest goddess, Nicolosi created a second statue, which was used as a promotional item. Walker became infatuated with his co-star Gardner, and when he found rival Howard Duff in her dressing room, he slapped her. This led to Gardner leaving the studio, and filming came to a head lieutenant. The incident highlighted the intensity of Walker's emotions and the challenges that can arise on a film set. Robert Walker, the actor, was known for his versatile roles in various films. However, his life extended beyond the silver screen. Reflecting his personal values and interests, Walker was a family man who cherished his time with his loved ones. He married actress Jennifer Jones in 1939, and they had two sons together. Despite the challenges of fame, the actor prioritized his family life and often sought refuge in their company. The actor was also passionate about music and played the piano in his spare time. This love for music often translated into his work, as he frequently chose roles in films that showcased his musical talents. Moreover, Walker was involved in several philanthropic efforts throughout his career. He was an active supporter of the Muscular Dystrophy Association and often participated in fundraising events for the organization. Additionally, he was a vocal advocate for mental health awareness and worked to break the stigma surrounding mental illness. Walker's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. For instance, he was drawn to roles that allowed him to explore complex emotions and relationships. His ability to connect with his characters on a personal level made his performances all the more compelling. In this classic film, Strangers on a Train, Walker's character grapples with issues of identity and morality, reflecting the actor's own interest in exploring the human psyche. His nuanced portrayal of a troubled individual struggling to find his place in the world resonated with audiences and cemented his status as a talented actor. Walker's enduring legacy is a testament to his versatility and dedication to his craft. His ability to connect with audiences and explore complex themes made him a beloved figure in the world of film. Even outside of his professional sphere, Walker's personal values and interests continued to resonate, inspiring those around him 
and leaving a lasting impact on the world. Robert Walker, born in Salt Lake City, Utah, entered the world on a dramatic night when a great fire swept through the city. His father, the city editor of the Deseret News, was busy reporting on the blaze and only learned of his son's birth after a tiring night. When he shared the news with his three other sons, they were more focused on the fire than their new brother. Walker's performance as Bruno Anthony in the 26th Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time, ranked at hash 86, showcases his talent and range as an actor. His portrayal of Bruno Anthony and Strangers on a Train left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. In the classic film Since You Went Away, Walker delivered a memorable performance as Corporal Bill Smollett II. Notably, he was borrowed from MGM for this film, highlighting the demand for his talent in the industry. This role further solidified his status as a skilled and in-demand actor during his time. Robert Walker, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, is remembered for his versatile performances that captivated audiences. His work in films like Strangers on a Train and The Sea of Grass showcased his ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. Despite facing personal challenges, Walker's dedication to his craft never wavered. He continued to deliver compelling performances, leaving behind a body of work that continues to resonate with audiences today. For aspiring professionals in the field, Walker's advice would be to stay true to yourself and your art. Don't be afraid to take risks and challenge yourself, as it is through these experiences that you will grow and develop as an artist. He would also emphasize the importance of perseverance and dedication. The path to success is not always easy, but with hard work and determination, you can achieve your goals. Looking to the future, Walker's legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. His work serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the impact that a single performance can have on an audience. As the industry evolves and changes, it is important to remember the lessons of the past and to build upon the foundation laid by those who came before us. By honoring the legacy of actors like Robert Walker, we can ensure that the art of storytelling continues to thrive for generations to come. After graduating from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1939, Robert Walker made a name for himself in Hollywood. One of his notable roles was in Vengeance Valley as Lee Strobe, which turned out to be his final film with MGM, as he passed away in 1951. In the classic thriller Strangers on a Train, Walker's portrayal of Bruno Antony is particularly memorable. During a scene where Anne is at the Antony home, Bruno enters the room wearing a printed silk dressing robe, identical to the one worn by Monty Woolley's character, Sheridan Whiteside, in The Man Who Came to Dinner. This subtle detail adds depth to the character and creates an interesting connection between two classic films. The resemblance is striking, and it's clear that the costume designer for Strangers on a Train drew inspiration from Woolley's robe in The Man Who Came to Dinner. The robe can be seen in a still photo of Walker and Strangers on a Train, and at one minute and five seconds of the trailer for The Man Who Came to Dinner. This nod to a classic film is a testament to the enduring influence of Hollywood and the timeless appeal of these cinematic treasures. Renowned for his compelling performances, Robert Walker left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born on October 13, 1918, his passion for acting was evident from a young age. After appearing in several stage productions, he transitioned to film, captivating audiences with his versatile roles. In 1943, Walker showcased his talent in See Here, Private Hargrove, demonstrating his ability to breathe life into diverse characters. His career reached new heights with a classic thriller Strangers on a Train in 1951, where he brilliantly portrayed a charming yet sinister character. This film not only resonated with audiences, but also transcended the boundaries of its genre, further solidifying Walker's status as a remarkable thespian. Throughout his career, Walker's innovative performances enthralled moviegoers, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Despite personal challenges, he persevered, creating a body of work that continues to inspire aspiring actors. Walker's story is a testament to the power of creativity and determination. His enduring legacy serves as a reminder that with passion and perseverance, one can navigate the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment and leave a lasting impact. Reflecting on this classic actor's journey, we are reminded that every step in the world of entertainment begins with a single, captivating performance. Robert Walker, a renowned actor, shares his birthday with Jack McGowan, who starred in The Exorcist. Walker gained fame for his versatile performances in various film and television productions. 
In 1943, Walker made his film debut in See Here, Private Hargrove at the age of 18. He quickly rose to prominence, earning a contract with MGM and appearing in numerous classic films. His most notable roles include the troubled teenager in Since You Went Away and the unstable antagonist in Strangers on a Train. Walker's personal life was marked by challenges, including struggles with mental health and addiction. Despite these obstacles, he continued to work in the industry, appearing in various television shows and films until his untimely death in 1951 at the age of 32. Walker's impact on the film industry remains significant, with his performances leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. His work continues to be celebrated and studied, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and legacy. Robert Walker, the actor known for his role in the classic film Strangers on a Train, experienced a tragic and sad turn of events in his personal life. In 1951, while still married to his first wife, Jennifer Jones, Walker had an affair with actress Barbara Stanwyck, his co-star in Clash by Night. This infidelity led to the breakdown of his marriage with Jones. But the most heart-wrenching event in Walker's life was his struggle with mental health issues. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia, which significantly impacted his career and personal life. In 1951, after a heated argument with his estranged wife Jones, Walker had a severe mental breakdown. He was found in a disoriented state, holding a knife and threatening to kill himself. Walker was subsequently institutionalized and his career took a downward turn. Despite his talent and potential, the stigma of mental illness made it challenging for him to secure roles in Hollywood. He continued to act in films and television shows, but his career never reached the heights it could have. Walker's tragic story is a reminder of the devastating impact that mental illness can have on an individual's life. It also highlights the need for greater understanding and acceptance of mental health issues in society. Let's take a moment to appreciate the actor, Robert Walker. His work has left an imprint on the film industry that continues to resonate. If you've had the pleasure of watching his performances, you'd agree his talent was undeniable. In the movie Strangers on a Train, Walker's portrayal of the charming yet sinister Bruno Anthony is a standout. His ability to switch between charismatic and menacing is chilling, making this classic thriller a must-watch. Another notable role is in the film Since You Went Away, where Walker showcases his versatility, playing a young soldier in love during wartime. His performance is heartwarming and genuine, adding depth to this timeless story. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts on Robert Walker's work and legacy. What are your favorite roles or memories of this classic actor? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits that have shaped entertainment. Let's keep the conversation going and honor the lasting impact of Robert Walker's